Hi folks and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Here we are on a beautiful beach in Boca Grande, Florida on the Gulf of Mexico. One of my favorite places to do some beach cooking. I picked up some fresh grouper at Charlotte Fish Depot. They have some wonderful fish in there and seafood products. They're very helpful. And today I'm gonna cook a blackened grouper sandwich. We'll make some homemade tartar sauce. It's gonna be delicious. You're gonna love it. Let's get cooking. Our kitchen's all set up here on this beach. Doesn't it look beautiful? Let's make some homemade tartar sauce. We're gonna start out with a half a cup of mayonnaise. And to that we'll add some fresh dill. Nicely diced up, about a teaspoon is all you'll need. And then we have a dill pickle, all finely diced up into little cubes, about a tablespoon. Our next item, we'll add about a teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And a little bit of pepper to taste. And now our next item, hot sauce. This is totally optional. I like to use Cholulu. It just goes great with this sauce. Mix it up and keep it cold until you're ready to use it. Look at this beautiful filet. My goodness, the folks at Charlotte Fish Depot fixed me up with this beautiful grouper. I'm gonna cut this filet in half. That'll be just perfect for my sandwiches. Now let's season up our filets. We'll start out with some fresh squeezed lemon on all the sides. There's lots of different blackened seasonings out there. This one's called Zatarain's. It's an excellent seasoning for fish. Now be generous with your seasoning all over the entire filet. Then we'll get that over to our cast iron pan. Let's start off with about a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of vegetable oil. You want it on a medium to high heat. You want to hear that fish sizzle when you put that in there. And we're going to cook it for about four minutes on each side. You'll see the nice color that we're looking for as we cook our grouper. After about four minutes, we'll give it a flip in the pan. You may have to turn your heat down to about a medium heat after you flip it. And let it finish off in the pan for about another four minutes. When you flip it, add a little bit of lemon juice. This will help keep our filet nice and moist and delicious. It's time to serve it up. Let's put together our blackened grouper sandwich. I picked up a lovely fresh baguette on our way to the beach. Cut it to the size that our filet is going to fit. Put a little bit of butter on it, a little garlic powder on it, and then brown it up quickly in a pan. That looks just about right. Now we'll put our fresh tartar sauce on both sides of the bun and our beautiful filet. I like to add some nice fresh crisp iceberg lettuce, a couple slices of tomato. I'll garnish that with a dill pickle and a wedge of lemon Oh my, doesn't that look mouth-watering. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. Nothing like fresh grouper cooked out on the beach. What a beautiful thing. I put out a video every Monday. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Well, now I'm going to try this delicious sandwich. Oh. Wow. You're going to love it. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. Fresh goop. Gooper? What's the heck's a gooper? <laughs>
ました。